Hello guys and welcome back to the Docs series. I'm very glad to continue this series. I asked you guys last time, how did you feel about the series? Did you think it was taking too long? Did you feel maybe it was going a bit backwards? But thankfully I was very happy to hear people are still enjoying the series. People still want to see more and that's exactly what I want. Even during the ups and downs, I love the fact you guys still enjoy the series. So let's jump right back in and see what we can do with this mess. King Tymos has taken the Iron Throne, he's brought the rock back, I said the Iron Throne, has taken the crown, and he's brought the rock back to the Faith of the Seven. Now, this could also be good, this brings maybe a new era, a new, a new sunrise on the Doc's family dynasty. Um, we've kind of ticked a few things off the bucket list, we had our own kingdom, we had a dragon, a lot of really cool things happened, but it's time for a new era. And Time of Stocks is the one man to do this. But we have a difficult situation. I do not think we can win this war. We can see what happens. Maybe we could try and kill the king. But I don't think this is likely. He's in Overton. Why is he in the north? So apparently the king's in the north. We could try and sail to the north, I guess. Um, Overton's somewhere. No, it's Overton up here. I think Overton's up here. Where the damn well is over? I always forget the places up here sometimes. I'm sure Overton was somewhere in the north. Huh. Maybe I'm going crazy. There we go. Overton was right there. So there we go. So apparently he's up north. I could send a boat round there to try and take him, but that's pretty far. I don't think we have enough boats for all of our men. No, we do not. We definitely do not. We're being surrounded by a ridiculous number of men. I think the best route here is just to bend the knee. I think reminds with the bend the knee, go under the Iron Throne, just like the Lannisters did with Aegon the Conqueror many years ago. Maybe it's time for the Doxes to bend the knee. God damn, that, that Lannister, when they bent the knee to Aegon, that feels like so long ago. I mean, in the game it was long ago, but yeah, it just feels like so long ago. You know, let's continue fighting. Let's see what we can do. March, my men. Stop the Dornish. Uh, the Dornish are coming in. I don't know where they're going to land. We'll wait for them to land. Uh, the ability of our previous employer to pay you. How opportunistic. Okay, they were defeated straight away. Not looking so good. 23,000 men are coming. I could defeat them with 18,000 men. We're just going to bend the knee. I think it's the best thing to do here. Without dragons, the reason I concentrated on dragons so much in the past was because we needed the dragons to keep our independence. There was basically no way we were going to keep independence and possibly be able to expand if we did not have dragons. And as I said before, dragons tend to lead to a disaster for my series. And as we can see here, think of where we were with Forley. Things were going so great for our family. Now look at us, just, you know, me, my son, ugh. The realms have subsided. And I have a new et Why? What happened to my son? Okay. Why is my son not my heir? Agnatic Cognatic Primogeniture. Hmm, that should be... I think it might be a glitch. What we'll do at the end of this episode, I will, I guess, have to just re-host. Uh, not re-host, I guess, just restart it. I'll have to save it and come back into the game. Hopefully you'll fix it. I think it might just be a glitch. Um, just got to hope I don't die before the end of the episode. That would be pretty bad. We should choose a successor to the Iron Throne. I think we're going to go of ourselves. I see no reason why Timos would choose anyone else. We have no alliances of anyone. But it's going to be a clean slate. When it comes to the Rock, it's, well, I guess it's the Westerlands now. We are just the paramount of the Westerlands. Poor Timos. At least he's not called the, uh, the King Who Knelt. So that, he's got that going for him. We have, like, no soldiers. Oh, 28... Oh, I need to delete them, don't I? There we go. Delete the men. Depose King Clayton faction. So there is some unrest, maybe, for the Iron Throne, but deposing him won't make a big difference. Really. Um, Duncan Umba is the... Oh, so yeah, that makes sense, then, why he would. He wants the Umbers in power, because he's the, the power of the North, and he's an Umber. That makes a lot of sense. Let's check the council. Um... We'll make Orman Swift the new Castellian. Justice Seer will go to Lucas Gardner. 
Master of Arms will keep you. Mr. Sander the Unready. Treasurer. We'll make we want people to like us right now, so I'm gonna choose Robin Dox. You know, he's family after all. Spy Master Dunover Westerlin. He doesn't like me though. Neither does she. Ugh, no one likes me. Really, no one does like me, basically. At least no one who's got actually any good. She actually likes me the best. Okay, Castamere. Well, let's grant her an honorary title then. There we go, she likes me zero. That might help out a bit. Uh, Septon, she's actually a red priest, so I think we need to replace her. Let's um, hire her, employ a new courtier. A holy man. And this man, you must go and bring back the religion. Yeah, we need to fix the damage the docks has caused in the past. Time us must bring everyone back. We must bring the Westerns back as a community. People used to trust the docks family and our name. Now look at us, look. Not, uh, not even 5,000 men we can gather from our people. It's a sad, sad day. And do we have two claws? We need two claws of the Docks family, my two bodyguards, my son, and we need a new one. I guess Sorella is the only trained fighter, if favoured by Roller. I wish one of our guys, I really thought one of our guys, I don't want to say because I don't want to, you know, curse it. Um, but I really thought, you know, Godwin or Sand or someone could have got favoured by Roller, but it never happened. It just never happens. So we're back under the Iron Throne. The politics of under the Iron Throne is back. Clayton Gardner is our new king. He's a craven. He's kind, deceitful, gregarious, zealous, and temperate. So maybe it's good I'm Faith of the Seven. Obviously, he's a bit of a zealot. Today, my son asked for a fief of his own. Um, you're not ready. And actually, I'm going to break your betrothal because we need to find some good alliances, I think. You're not ready yet. We need to find him some good alliances. That'll be what we'll do for now. Primogeniture succession. Apparently, so a few factions. Apparently, the Macy's want primogeniture. That'd be very good for the Garners. The Garners would probably love this. So maybe we don't want that. Um, but I need a marriage for my son. Let's look for some good alliances. Who are the most powerful men in Westeros? The Vale, the North. The Stormlands, Gardeners. Okay. The Vale, the North, Stormlands, Gardeners. So the Vale. You have a daughter. She's married. But this daughter's not. That could be a good one then. No. Political concerns. I, I could see that. That makes sense. And there's no one else. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we could wait for her to get ten, but... I mean, they would say yeah, and we could kill the brother, but then again, is, is Tymos the type of man who kills? I don't think so. He's a kind man. He's not going to assassinate people, so there's no point going for that. Okay, let's go for the North then. What can the North offer us? Your daughter, she's married, but sister, a bit too old, son. Okay, your son has many daughters. What about... Mana. Mana Umber. She's ready to get married. That'd be pretty good for us. I like this one. And the Riverlands. I should probably have checked that. He might not have accepted, just like the Veil, but I think he would if he accepted the other ones. Um, he has a daughter. She's four years old. Too young. And then the Reach. He has some sisters. Princess Rhonda. She's 13. This one's married to Lord Armand, who is in... Uh, Lord Paramount, Carlton of the Night's Watches area. Uh, Lord Paramount, Jesus. What a mess that is. Arranged betrothal. So they would accept. That would give us an alliance with the King and the Reach. Hmm. That is probably quite a good one. And it would give him a lot of prestige. I, I, I do like that one, actually. 17,000 men. What's the difference? 23,000. Plus, we do have history of gardeners in our own lands, which we're friends with. So, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm swaying to the gardeners, I think. 
he would accept us. We'd have to wait. So that'll give us... The, yeah. Let's go for the guys. It gives us an alliance straight away. We don't have to wait for anyone to die. It could be a good one for the future. Let's do it. We've only got to wait one year. Very nice. So we got our match... Uh, we got our marriage done there. Overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne, of course. Always forget Pentos. Overthrow the monarchy. I mean, we have elective... I guess if we overthrow the monarchy, it would become a republic? That's what I assume would happen. An ultimatum of a new republic. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Just to change it into that. They accepted... Oh, the post is now led by the Arons. Oh, sorry, not the Arons, the Royces. Corwin the Wicked. He's just a wicked, wicked man. But yeah, a new era for us. We're back to being Lord Paramount. The, we're playing the Game of Thrones. Wants Addison for the Iron Throne. Not so good there. Marcel for the Westerlands. So I keep saying Iron Throne, I mean Westerlands. Antario Carnaby. Could you, could you please uh, not do this, my good sir? We'll award you uh, an honorary title. Yeah, people don't respect us. We need, we need a, a feast. That's what we need. We need people to love us once again. Let's go for the feast. Hopefully this will get people to love me once again. The doxes are ah, just thinking back of what we once were. We used to be able to raise so many soldiers. So many. But the dragons, we became too reliant on them. That's what always happens. While I was busy preparing for the feast, uh, a troop of wandering jugglers arrived at the castle. They will be perfect for the feast. Adventurers are coming, but I'm too kind. The problem is, Tymos is too kind of man. He would not kill them so, in such a dishonorable way. Most preparations for the feast have been done. We'll invite everyone. Who will not come? She will not. Lefords will not come. Well, okay, that's not... Oh. God damn it. Dinner the docks. And Gaston Brax. That's like... Some of the most powerful lords in the Westlands, and most of the most important people, are not even coming to my damn feast to celebrate a new era. Has occupied your rightful seat. Dawn? Hmm. Okay. Illyrian. Actually, is that for the Vaif or the this? Quarren, yes. Okay, so apparently she wants to take Dawn. You're married to a nut. Are you kidding? What the hell? What is this? He's a bastard of a Lonmouth. <laughs> what, a, what a terrible name. Um, her son is a nut as well. I, I can't even say it. I'm not going to give you any coin. I, I'm not going to get involved in this. We need the money to get our realm back in order. Plus, I'm too slothful to really... And arbitrary. I just don't care. To be perfectly honest. Tyrell for the Westlands faction. More Lannisters coming out. But the betrothal is done. So that means now we're going to have a good alliance with the Reach and with the Iron Throne. I'm happy with that. That's a good one, I think. Arwen's host has declared what Armin's claim on the Riverlands, the Gardeners. The Gardeners are getting pretty strong now. 17,000 men. That's, that's a pretty good one there. Her husband was a Turner. Her son is a Turner. So basically the Turners who are Westermen will get it. Interesting. Skilled fighter. Not too bad. Has another brother who's a Lolliston. Okay. Interesting mix there of things that could happen. I accept your suggestion. Has arrived at my court. Uh, has spoken and told everyone how great the thank you can be. Well, that is lovely. That's good. He was going to rebel against us, apparently, possibly. Has gotten married. Everyone's concerned. People respect wealth. Yeah, we need the prestige right now. I don't need that money. We just need to rebuild the glory of our family. Ever since, you know, the bastard allegations, the dragon capers, not being able to tame it after some great lords, we have to get people's trust back into us. Now, I'm not saying, obviously, uh, the other kids, they were bastards. Like I say, it's just possibilities. And it wasn't just me who thought that. It was also AI characters that thought that. Sander may or may not have been. But him not taming the dragon led is leading me to possibly believe he might not have been, you know. There's a possibility, of course. Oops, I clicked on the wrong one. I mean, his his mother was known as the Unfaithful. 
And obviously that could be down to his paranoia. Again, there's so many possibilities there. And that's what I've loved about the series. So many just, you know, unknowns. It's been quite fun. I, I love that part of it. Because that's what happens, you know, in real history. You never know sometimes. A couple of household knights are practicing the cold-blooded Destria and the warm-blooded Charger ambled towards each other. Their riders preparing to crush their lances against each other. I watched the Destria crash to the ground with his rider crushed beneath him. A good fight. Are they deliberately trying to kill themselves? Let my doctor take a look at him. Well, I am a kind man. Slothful, arbitrary, temperate. I guess my arbitrary, I don't care about justice. So maybe... Slothful, but I guess I don't have to do any work. I think his kindness will make him send a doctor. Yeah, or you go good fight. Nah, I think his kindness will make him do that. We didn't get charitable, but yeah. Uh, you decided to join your personal guard in their daily training regiments at dawn. Things were a bit stiff at first, but when they realized you wouldn't have them beheaded for scoring hits on you with their wooden practice swords, they taught you many valuable lessons. we become a poor fighter. I'm 14,000 men. There we go. The people are starting to like me. We could even host a wedding feast in celebration. That could be a nice idea. 100 gold, though. We were pretty expensive. But, you know, my son did just get married to a gardener. And she's the daughter of the king, the Iron Throne. Yeah, let's celebrate. Host a wedding feast. Cost me all my money, but we need it. Let's go. Where will this path lead us? Will we be able to make some alliances, connive and take the Iron Throne? Will people all rebel? Not likely all to rebel just because of the, ele the elective monarchy for the Iron Throne really makes things very peaceful. I'll spend lavishly a hundred more gold. We'll spend enough just to spend all my money. There we go. Invite them all. Thank you for the... You will not attack... I spent lots of money, Mr. Lefford. And now Jarella Hawthorne. God damn you. And Joffrey of Case. We we brought you up to your position, but it looks like most are coming, which is good to see. Vassal inheritance war warning. Mr. Hawthorne. Your heir is him. I don't see anything wrong there. I guess that's a possibility. If she dies first, but if he dies first, that'd be good. And he's a little bit older, but she's depressed. So I'm hoping he dies first. I mean, he'll get that, and then we'll actually get the Riverlands place. That would actually have been a good thing. Um, everybody was talking about the musicians and finally had some time off. Um, not good enough. I don't have much money right now. But I don't want to lose prestige. Yeah, we'll offer them my patronage. I don't care if we get lack of funds. We can afford it. We'll get the money back. We are the, we're the Paramounts of the Westerlands. There's so much money here. We can live with that, I, I think. Hopefully. Uh, my... What was that? My underfunded sheriffs have allowed a, brand, a band of robbers to rise and cast... Oh, God damn it! Uh, just going to be a short amount of time. The guests have finally arrived. Welcome to the wedding. Not as grand a wedding as some, but, you know, we, we just had a feast. They stand before the gods to take up their holy vow of marriage. The great lords and ladies of the Westlands look on as he drapes the arms of house docks around his bride. And now for the feast. The most important part. How are the uh, votes going? So Corwin. Corwin Royce has got by far the most. Well, I guess not by far. Macy is doing pretty well. I started talking to one of my guests at the feast and found them mo most interesting. Ah, Brian Case. He's the lunatic. I just became best friends with a bloody lunatic. God damn it. My coffers are empty, but the faith is rich. Maybe I should seize set properties to repay my debts. Now, I am arbitrary, but I'm also kind. So I think that it means I don't really care about justice, but I am a kind man. Um, so I'll probably do kinder things. There are fat septins. Seize them. Times are harsh. Compromise with them to find money. Now, we'll probably get our money back soon. We'd lose prestige. Never, yes. The seven frowns upon such unpiety. And we become zealous. So, there we go. Timos has actually become a zealous faith for the seven. How things have changed. What would Forley think? The feast is winding down. Now, only the bedding remains. And in the end, 
Vardis Coldwater beat back Arwen Gardner. Not too surprised. She did have less men, but she could have made a good go of it if she had a good opportunity. And there we go. Feast is over, and we now have 20,000 men. Very happy. So we've managed to... We've managed to get back control of the Westerlands. How's it looking? Yeah, there we go. We're not, we're not high up, but, you know, we're, we're, we're getting the men we didn't have before up. We've now got an alliance with the Reach. Things are actually looking pretty good. For one episode, I think, for one part, or we've gone back into the Iron Throne, things are looking up for the first time in a long time. It's all thanks to Timos, who has not healed from his wound. He tried to make one last effort to tame that dragon. Like I said, it was only because we need a last-ditch attempt at keeping our independence. It didn't pay off, though. How's my son? Your wife's not pregnant. God damn it, you're so bad at this. <laughs> I, I joke, Tibble. You're fine. You're 32. You have lots of time. Ugh. Lots and lots of time to make those babies. What's going on in the rest of the world, I guess? I think we looked last time a little bit, so I'll leave it for now, actually. Bodyguards, commanders we can make. We'll leave it till we need it. When's that guy come in? February. So he will come in February. He's got 200 gold. I don't think he's going to have enough men. I don't think you're going to have enough men. You know what, Mr. Robin Lannister? You're going to fail. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to laugh. You're going to cry. No doxes will pierce you with our pincers. But we do need at some point a Vlaine Steel Sword. I think my son could be the man to do that. You know, he's a skilled fighter, he's ambitious. He might be the man to get us a Vlaine Steel Sword one day. He could be him. Tybalt Dox. The future, the hope of our entire dynasty rests upon his little shoulders. Winter is coming. Winter is damn well coming. How's your wife? 28. They can still have a few more kids. Because if your son dies, who's not married yet, that would put you in a bit of a, a tough situation. Could be good for me, though. If she's married to the Durana, but again, they've not had any kids, so it could be good for us. She did not end up as pretty as I thought she would. <laughs> That's what you get for marrying a gardener. You know what they say. Uh, a gardener's are ugly. And there we go, we got Scarred. Perfect. So our wound is healed, we've now become Scarred. That's another really good thing. 27,000 men. Kill Lady Parent Serena of the Westerlands. Um, I mean, that wouldn't be terrible. But I'm a kind man. I can join such a thing. We're going to end this part. I think that that's a good point to end it off on. Losing that wound, getting the Scar. Timos. This whole dynasty rests upon your shoulders, it looks like. What do you guys think? Where do you think things will go from here? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Where will our family go from here? What would you like to see? What do you want to see? Do you want us to try and take the Iron Throne itself this time? Or would you rather us try and get a whole bloody rebellion on and get things independent? Maybe try and change things to primogeniture, possibly. Then get everyone to rebel. Because people are more likely to rebel under primogeniture, not elective. People like elective, because you choose who you want. God damn democracy. Who knew? Who knew people like democracy? Damn them all. I'll see you next time. Bye-byes.